Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Google Translate website to translate languages from for text, documents, and also websites. So you can do all three, so we're going to show you an example of each. So once you go to the uh, Translate website, you'll have this interface here where you want to pick your source and destination language, I guess, for lack of a better term. So if we want something in English here, if I can spell it right. There we go. So there's the translation. I will read it to you. I would like to have this translated. Me gustaría que esto se tradujera. Then once you have it translated, you could copy it, you could share it, and that kind of thing. So that's for text. You could also copy and paste text into here. Then, of course, you could switch it around, too, if you wanted to have something translated a different language. And, of course, you could pick one of the many other languages from the drop-down list here. Okay, so now for websites, so we have this uh, Wikipedia page on Mexico City. It's in Spanish, so we want to translate it to English. You know, obviously you could do so from within uh, your web browser, but if you want to have it just translated for you using this, let's say there's a problem, let's say it's not prompting you to do a translation, you could copy the URL, paste it in here, click on Translate, and then, so here's what you would normally get. So let's close that for now. So here's the comparison. Here's before in Spanish. And then here's the same thing after it was translated to English. Okay, and then finally, there are documents. All right, so we're going to have this document here. Let me scroll, make this a little smaller here. About uh, computer security. We want to have this translated to Spanish for us. So we could download or upload it in one of these formats. Uh, Word document, PDF, uh, PowerPoint, or Excel. So let's go ahead and upload this one from the desktop. Click on Translate. And then click on Download, download Translation. So it'll download it to your downloads with the same file name here. So just be aware of that. You're going to have a duplicate file name. So you want to change the one you download to you know, make it say Spanish or whatever. So we open that. So here's our other one. Let's... So you can see, here's our six categories here. Kept the formatting nice, and here's the original. So it's a nice feature. Do a quick translation. So once again, once you go to the uh, Google website, or Google Translate website, I should say, just pick your category, uh, pick what language you want to go to and from, and then just take it from there, and then you could actually... Translate pretty much anything you need to pretty much any language you want. I'll put a link in this description. You can go check it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.